stream is up and running. Stream looks to be good. And we are live. 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 We are live, guys. We are live. We are live. We'll give it a minute or two for people to start coming into the stream. Got a lot to talk about in the stream today. Don't know if it's going to be a full hour-long stream. I'm hoping, but I do not know yet. Do not know. This is a viewer-requested stream. I got the request a few uh, weeks ago when I was asking for some Q&A, and we'll see how it goes. We'll definitely see how it goes. Drink of choice today is these limited editions Pick Your Pepper, Dr. Pepper cans. To listen to Dr. Pepper today. Big shout out to Dr. Pepper. We'll see how it goes today. I'll make sure the alerts went out, and I believe they did. Checking my phone here. Yes, everything looks good. Everything's looking good. Test, test, test. <coughs> All right. Give it a minute or two for the stream to get people in. Hopefully people will be coming into the stream today. I think it'll be a pretty good one. I'm hoping. We shall see. If not, I'll give you my toy collecting regrets. That's the theme for the stream today. So we'll see what we have. So far, it's just myself in the stream. Uh, hopefully some people will be coming into the stream shortly. I hope so. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Again, I cannot hear myself talk, unfortunately, because I'll get some feedback and I don't want that to happen. So we'll give it a minute or two while I wait for people to come into the stream. Just checking to make sure it's going live right now, which it is. Excellent, 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 excellent. Cool. Check, 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 check. Hopefully you guys would be interested in the stream tonight. I'm hoping. Hey, Opti uh, Rainbow Optimus, thanks for coming in. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hopefully we have a pretty good stream tonight, I'm hoping. We're doing the viewer-requested stream uh, that was requested a couple weeks ago. We're doing Toy Collecting Regrets. I don't know if it'll be a full hour stream. I'm hoping it is. Uh, we shall see how it goes. We'll give it another minute or so to make sure everybody comes into the stream. Uh, this stream is going to be hopefully an hour. I don't know yet. Uh, like I said, we'll see what happens. We have myself and yourself in the stream right now. If you're the only one in the stream, I have no problem talking to one person. That's fine by me. I'm hoping some more people come into the stream. That'd be very, very cool. It'd be, hopefully we get some more people in. But we'll start it off in a second here. Um, first thing is first, let's talk about this coming Wednesday. This coming Wednesday is July 4th, which is my second year anniversary on YouTube. I want to thank everyone who has viewed and supported my channel. You may notice in the top right corner, you see 1,644 subs. As I mentioned before, that's not a real number. That's a, I would say about a third of those subs are dead subs. I mentioned it before many, many times, which is unfortunate that they didn't unsub to my channel, but that happens. Uh, again, this is my second year of YouTube, and when I did my first year anniversary video last year, I did four gift cards. I gave out four gift cards. Those were uh, some were retail, some were online, but they were all out of my pocket. Uh, the video this Wednesday is going to be sponsored entirely by Tate's Comics. Uh, they're sponsoring all the giveaway items. It's going to be throughout the entire month. And there's going to be three giveaways. Um, it's sort of going to be a scavenger hunt. I mentioned it before a couple weeks ago in the stream. That's how it's going to be. Uh, that's how I'm going to do it. Again, I want to thank everybody who's watching this video live now or watching it on a VOD or video on demand. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel. Definitely keep an eye on July 4th when that video goes up. So let's talk about... Yeah, I know. Hey, Jackie, how's it coming? How's it going? Thanks for coming in the chat. We're talking uh, uh, toy collecting regrets today. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why. I mean, you would think that if they're no longer watching it after X amount of months, they would just push those accounts away. They usually purge YouTube uh, subscribers when they see, like, a lot of weird activity happening and people doing weird things with them. It happens a lot. I've seen it happen uh, quite a bit where you'll see all of a sudden, like, you'll drop 30 subs or 50 subs or 100 subs. It's because they're purging old accounts that are being used or they're using them as spam, something along those lines. Uh, it, Jackie or Rainbow Optimus, how's it sound in the chat? 
the uh, speaker okay? Hey, friends, how's coming in the chat? Thank you very much for coming along, sir. Thank you for coming in. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, just get you guys caught up to speed, is my second year anniversary on YouTube this coming Wednesday. Keep an eye on that video when it goes up. Uh, yeah, exactly, Rainbow. I don't know why Rainbow Optimus I had a lot of trolls on my channel. I have for a while. But uh, this coming Wednesday is going to be a very, very good video. It's already shot. It's already in the can. I just have to upload it. A couple things I picked up. You may notice over here, right over here, where my Marvin the Martian... Uh, animated uh artwork was it fell <laughs> when i came home from work today it actually ripped off my wall which i have to get it re-put back up so you might notice a big white space over here behind me which looks very very weird now i'm so used to having that behind me now it looks very very odd uh, a couple things i wanted thank you very much jackie uh, a couple things you may have known from a video i did it was a toy hunt really really quick i picked up this guy right here which was the young bucks two pack hot topic uh, I picked this up uh, a couple days ago. Uh, it came out early. It came out June 28th. This should have been released in August. I just want to give a big shout out to the Elite and the Young Bucks. A very cool looking pop. If you've never seen it yet, uh, that's kind of what it would look like. Um, I haven't done a full review of this item. I don't know if I'm going to. I haven't decided. I might do it when I get the Cody and when I get the uh, Kenny Omega. I might do the entire Bullet Club as like a full review of all four items. I think that would be very, very cool. Uh, this, of course, is the Hot Topic exclusive version. The normal version of it that's coming out, I think, in August. Identical pose, same type of packaging, different outfit. That's the only difference between the two. Then my girlfriend picked me up something very cool that we're going to be doing uh, in a couple days. She went to Five and Below. I don't know if you've ever been to a Five and Below store. Everything in the store, think of it as an upscale dollar store. Everything in that store is five bucks or below. So she picked me up a puzzle. So we're going to be doing this puzzle of all DC guys. It's a thousand piece puzzle. Uh, pretty cool. It's pop collage. If you've never seen what this looks like, these are all basically a lot of the older school DC pops. So we're going to be doing this, and I'm going to actually frame it and put it up in my studio. So that's the one thing we're going to do together as, as sort of a couple thing. I think it would be very fun to do this. A very, very cool idea. I'm very, very happy she picked it up. Now, I think they have a Marvel one and a DC one. So let's go jump right in. Oh, drink for today. If you didn't know, it was Dr. Pepper. Pack your pepper. Um, this isn't a limited edition can. I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's a uh, it's an, sort of an upscale uh, dollar store, kind of what it is. They had a lot of toys. They had they had WWE Elite figures there. They had Star Wars figures there. Stuff that, like, say, the Elite figures. They had um, some some okay ones. Not, nothing I would go really crazy to get my hands on. But normally, you know, action figures that are Elite brand, you would think it's at least anywhere from 15 to 20 bucks. These were 5 bucks a piece. $5. Everything there is either up to 5 or $5. You, it's never... It, Whatever you buy there, you will never spend anything more than five bucks on any one item at all. So it's very, very cool. Definitely take a look at five and below. It, it's, I think they're doing them at like, I know they're doing, there's like two by me. Yeah. Yeah, Jackie. And definitely friends. Yeah, definitely take a look at it. You kind of be surprised. Take a look at their toy section. Uh, you'd be very, very surprised what you find there. I, I, it, it changes from store to store. So I think they're franchised. So they have different stuff. <laughs> Why is that, Rainbow Optobotomus? Hey, King Snake, thanks for coming in the chat, sir. So today we're going to be talking about, this is a viewer-requested special, we're talking toy collecting regrets. Um, I'm going to start myself first. I don't know if this stream's even going to go an hour, to be quite honest. I, hopefully you guys can chime in. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, old Street Fighter reference, actually. Hey, King Snake, thanks for coming in the chat, sir. The what I'm going to talk about first is childhood regrets. Again, this is a viewer requested special. This is something I picked up during a QA we had. I was coming up with ideas. I wanted some themes that I could do for some for the channel. And one person mentioned toy collecting regrets. I thought that would be a very cool idea to do for an actual stream. So I, I was going to originally break it into three parts. I was going to do childhood toy collecting regrets, something like teenage toy collecting regrets. Oh, that sucks, dude. <laughs> I, normally, I don't drink a lot of sugar. Normally, I don't. I'll, I'll splurge every once in a while to get a Dr. Pepper. Most, if I can drink energy drinks, I usually drink uh, diet energy drinks. Um, yep, we'll talk about those in a second. The, uh, the, I was going to do childhood regrets, teenage regrets, and adult collecting regrets. But I figured I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to 
group the childhood and the teenage sort of into into a collective grouping because what happened with me was sort of between those times and I had two events. First, let's give you some history about me. I originally was born up in New York. And when I was very, 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 very young, I would say between maybe two and three, maybe four years old. I don't remember much of my my childhood just because I don't remember. I, I just don't. There was a time when my grandmother would always come over and give me little Matchbox cars or Hot Wheels cars. I didn't really care which one was which. I was too young to care. I just had a little car that rolled around. That's all I cared about. And I would like you know, roll the cars around on the floor and crash them into each other. I didn't have any of the tracks at, at that age, but I had these collecting cases. I had these collecting cases that would fit, uh, it would three rows, it'd be four rows up and down and three rows across. So it would hold 12 cars and it was two levels in these collecting cases. I remember them vividly. I remember these toy collecting cases and it had <clears throat> little handles on it. So you can pick up the little the little box, you put your cars into each one, and it, it, it was uh, tiered, so you could put your 12 cars on the bottom, you could put another piece on top and put your other 12 cars, and I held 24 cars in this case, and I believe I had about three, maybe four cases. And mind you, when you're a three or four year old little kid with about, you know, you know, 60 to 100 cars, that's, that's gold. <laughs> that's gold to a little kid. Absolutely, friends, for fun. Absolutely. That is an awesome memory to have as a little kid. My grandmother would go, I think, out to, like, a, I think it might have been a, a Zales or a Woolworth, and she would buy the Matchbox cars for me. Back then, we're talking circa 1978, 1979, so that was about maybe 30 to 50 cents a car but back then. And I used to play with these cars all the time. Eventually, they got me a little track, and they got me the little launcher so you could put the car through, and I had a little loop inside of it, and you can jump the car when I was getting a little older. Well, unfortunately, here's the part where the regret portion comes into it. I used to play with my cars all the time. Eventually, when I was about four or five, we moved from New York down to Central Florida, when my grandmother moved prior to that. So about a year before that, my grandmother moved away to Central Florida. That's where we... We moved into the Central Florida area. She moved further south. Oh, I absolutely love my cars. My cars were awesome. Um, I, I can, if I saw pictures of certain cars, like I checked today, just to get some background for the stream, I looked at some of the old 1978, 1979 cars. And mind you, I'm not a, a Hot Wheel collector or a Matchbox collector, but I, it was a fond memory to to look back at those old cars. I said, I remember that car. I, I, I distinctly remember having that car. Uh, there was a jet racing car, which was three, it was two wheels in the back, and it was an elongated front. It was white, I believe it was. There was more of a, like, sort of like a, a Ferrari car back in 78, 79. So some of these pieces I do remember. It, I, unfortunately, here's, here's, here's the, 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 the regret portion of, of the story. This is going gonna, gonna to build in a second. It'll make a lot of sense. When we moved from New York down to Central Florida part of the move went missing so i had four my four stacked cases in the moving truck whatever happened either the mover stole my cars or the truck never showed up there was i think two trucks and only one truck showed up so a good portion of our furniture and some of our collectibles that we had that i had as a kid i had this big jet um I, I can only remember it as, a, imagine a large 747 toy that you would actually get on, like you would physically get on like a, I had like a, a seat and a handlebar, and you would pump it like this, and you would be able to move the jet. It made all sorts of sounds and noises, but it was a really, really big jet. Unfortunately, yeah, and unfortunately, that's the bad part. The, the place that had all my cars was lost. So I lost every single one of my Matchbox cars, and I was so devastated as a little kid that I lost a big part of my childhood. Um, would I ever go back and reclaim that? Not that piece per se. Here's a piece that I would reclaim. But before I jump into that, before I go into this next story, that's about my missing cars. The chat is down. That looks okay. Chat looks okay. Yeah, no one talks, friends. People don't really talk that much in my chat. <laughs> Some people will, every once in a while, jump in. I don't know why. <coughs> Some people chat. Some people just like hearing me ramble, <laughs> unfortunately. 
Um, a lot of my people, a lot, lot, lot of my viewers sometimes don't really correspond or, or, or we don't banter back and forth. I wish they would. Uh, this is why I want to turn it over to you guys. Do you have any toy regrets as a kid, as a child? I'm talking age two to age eight. Anything in that range? Does anybody have anything that they'd want to share? Anything that they had? Uh, if it's a long-winded story, you can go ahead and type. Ooh, 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 ooh. King Snake, I understand that. I understand that. I, at one time, was... I used to collect Transformers back in the day in, in Gen 1. Generation 1, I actually did. Why do you regret getting a Barbie? Do you regret getting it and then losing it? Or getting it and buying it and then having it in a collection and someone making fun of you? I do regret the, uh, the Devastator because I actually had... My favorite... One of my favorite pieces of the Constructicons was uh, Long Haul. That's alright, friends. Friend 4 one it's not that big of a deal. Um, there's a lot of well-known, well-established collectors that do Barbie. Just like the whole idea with My Little Ponies and the Brony movement. There's a lot of collectors that like those things. Just like there's a lot of girl collectors who like Transformers, who like G.I. Joe. Do, do maybe not swing for the women's side of, uh, of the collectibles. They like the male collectibles. Nothing wrong with that at all. And people will do that. I'm not saying that is a good thing. People make fun of you for your collectibles and your collections. I've seen it happen all the time. Ooh, King Snake. Ooh. I don't know why Jackie left. I have no clue. Maybe she has... Uh, she's had issues before with her internet locking up. So it could be that she might be rebooting her machine, I hope. Possibility. As soon as she comes and goes to the chat, she's really cool. Uh, Well-known follower of mine uh, came into me when I was just starting my channel up. But, uh... Oh, there you go, Jackie. Ooh, got caught with your pants down, dude. <laughs> but absolutely. Um, definitely Gen 1. I, I used to collect a lot of the old school Transformers. I had long haul. I didn't... My family wasn't very, very well off. And I had a few uh, G1 pieces. I had long haul. I had Sky Warp. I had Blue Streak. And I had Prime. Those are the ones that I really had. And honestly, I didn't really need more than that. Um... I was very, very happy with those pieces. But it was funny because I had the long haul piece, which of course was the torso, the, the, the torso connector basically for Devastator. And you could just turn them into, you know, half transform them into the torso piece and doesn't really do something in the, in the third form, third mode. Doesn't do you any good. Uh, as far as King Snake goes, your Master Universe giving them to your nephews and destroying them. Um, I had a few Moto pieces. Uh, my favorite were the bad guys. I really wasn't a big fan of the good guys. I, I liked Ram Man. Yeah, it said like I thought. Like I thought, Jackie's computer always goes up and down. Um, I had I had Ram Man. I had the uh, for Mo for Master Universe. I don't know what the vehicle was called. It was, it it connected to the Battle Ram, but it was the the flight piece of the Battle Ram, the, the part where they could hold on to and fly around. I had the Battle Ram and I had that front piece. Um, I love that vehicle. That vehicle was very, very fun. I had, um, the only, I had, I had the Battle Ram, I had Cyclops, and I had Ram Man. Those are the only three Master of the Universe figures I owned. And I loved Ram Man, and I liked Cyclops, just because of the head gimmick. I thought that was very, very cool. I, I, I love that one. Okay. Is the, uh, microphone still good, guys? Let me know, please. So definitely, I can definitely understand uh, G1 and Master of the Universe. Absolutely. Heck yeah. Uh, next piece, I would say, is more, um, I would, won't say teenage years. I would say maybe between 8 and 9. Let's see here. Uh, Rainbow Optimus, I absolutely hear you. The DC ones, unfortunately, the DC collectible, DC Direct... Look very, very good. The articulation is horrendous. They really, really suck. The Mattel ones are very, very good. The DC collectibles, DC direct ones are super bad. Um, I have a, a big display of them in my room. I have a huge cabinet that I have if you've never seen it before. 
Um, I have DC Direct and Mattel mixed in. And the DC Direct one, the legs are like, they're like this. And just because of the articulation, the legs will not collapse in just because the joints they use are so bad. Um, they've gotten better. They've gotten better. Are they at the level of Mattel and, let's say, NECA? No. Not level of articulation, not at all. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yep, uh, how, how, you regret getting a bobblehead of two of them that have no head. How did that happen? It just, it, when you bought it, did you buy it blind? Friends, did you buy it blind and just, the head popped off? Were they Funkos? Or were they a different sort of bobblehead? Were they Funkos or a different sort of bobblehead? If they're Funkos, I can understand. If they're a different bobblehead, maybe the, the craftsmanship wasn't up to scratch. Possibly, but the uh, oh, Funkos, did you did you buy it blind, or did you pick it up? Everything was fine. Brought it home and the head fell off. Because I hate, 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 hate. I've said it before. Hate, hate, hate the bobbleheads for Funko. Um, I'm a big Funko collector, as you guys know. Um, not fan of Marvels. Not fan of Star Wars. I own a lot of Star Wars. I own a few Marvels, but I don't like the bobbleheads, mainly because I can never get the head. Right. There's an, always an issue with the spring. It always goes all over the place. It's never consistent. It's all janked up. The only one I really liked, and I think they did a great job with, was Commander Cody. The Walgreens exclusive Commander Cody, at least on mine, is a perfect bobblehead. Meaning I can actually hold the head, take the head on a bobblehead, and I can spin it 360 degrees and not break the spring. It works perfectly. It is a perfect bobblehead. If they made every single bobblehead like that Commander Cody, I would never have an, a, a bad word to say about them ever again. But most of them have issues. Either the spring, the head's either like this, like this. You, you can't adjust it. You try to, you just mess it up even more. But I mean, ooh, I'm sorry, friends. So swinging back here to sort of, I won't say childhood, I won't say teenage years, or sort of in that middle, it's about, I want to say eight to nine years old. I mentioned it in other streams before. There was a Fisher Price jet that came out called the Thunderhawk. Um, it was a big blue and white plane. I'll see if I can find a picture here. Uh, yeah, give me a second here. Let me swing back to the studio and grab them real quick here. Hold on, guys. Let me grab them for you. All right, I'm back. I'll talk about the Thunderhawk in a second. We have a request for the the Commander Cody. Here is the Commander Cody. Looks really, really good. As I mentioned, no issues at all. This is a bobblehead. You see it bobbling. Zero problems with this. None. This is the best bobblehead I've ever owned. No issues. Which surprised the hell out of me. I didn't think you could do this with a Funko Pop. At all. Very, very happy about that. He looks very, very good. They did a great job taking the Commander Cody look from uh, Revenge of the Sith and converting it into Funko form. I think it looks great. It is, like I said, a bobblehead. You can see the spring right there. Right there, see it? So, I mean, I mean, you can see a bobble. But they did a phenomenal job with the head. No issues. Goes right back to true. So, yeah, that's Commander Cody. So, going back to the Thunderhawk I was talking about. Let me get a picture here for you guys, what I'm talking about here. Um, so, you can kind of see. I'm going to hold it up on my phone, so it might look a little weird here. Give me one second, guys. I apologize. Give me one second here. Uh, Thunder. It, it's a very cool jet, and I, I'm going to tell you why um, I have a memory of it. And let me just get it here for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, here we go. If I can find it here. No, I can't find it. I saw it all day today. No, no. Give me a second here. Now I can't, now I can't find the stupid thing. 
Fisher Price, uh, blue and white jet. It is the I thought it was, I thought it was called the Thunderhawk. I could be I could be mistaken on the name. I could be mistaken on the name. Let's see here. Uh, he might have left. Yeah, he might have taken off. Which is fine. Hopefully he comes back. Fisher Price. Um, Hawk Jet. Give me a second, guys. Definitely like that Commander Cody. Turbo. It's called a Turbo Hawk. There it is. I found it now. It's not called a Thunder Hawk. It's called a Turbo Hawk. So let me give you guys a picture of what it looks like. Very, very good picture right here. Here we go. So, why I talk about this, this is the actual jet. That's what it looks like. I remember this jet very vividly. I actually had not one, but two of those jets. It's called the Turbo Hawk, not the Thunderhawk, Turbo Hawk. Thunderhawk is a uh, mask vehicle, actually. So, it's a Turbo Hawk, it's a blue and white jet. I remember that jet vividly. <laughs> I remember that jet vividly. Yep, it, it, I, 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 I really, really love that jet. And I used to play with that jet all the time. The weird thing is my mom doesn't even remember me having that toy. I know I not had one. I had two of them. And what makes that jet very cool, the jet is literally about this big. It's about a foot, foot and a half easily. And it's very, very solid. Um... I'll kind of give you another shot here so you can see it. Uh, what made it really, really cool was the the jet itself. Let me find a good shot of it here. There we go. The jet had big rolling wheels on the bottom. That made it really, really cool. The biggest problem I'm finding with this jet is you can't find it in good shape. This is kind of a side shot of it here. And the biggest problem is the loss of the canopy. Every single auction I've seen on eBay for this jet, let it kind of focus in. I thought the best it's going to get. Focus. But the best it's going to get. Doesn't have the actual canopy. So it's def definitely a shame why it doesn't have that canopy. Focus camera, there we go. And I want to get my hands on that. I want to get a mint one. I really, really want to do. I want to regain a piece of my childhood or my youth. And I definitely want to get that jet. I, I think I want to definitely get my hands on that jet. Um, like I said, it's about a foot, foot and a half. And I mean, we're talking a very solid toy. It wasn't metal. It was plastic. It had the three rolling wheels. Yep, cockpit. Mm-hmm. What pop is my profile pick? You mean the one that you see in the bottom right corner of the chat? Is that what you're talking about? Or the one that I was holding in my picture? That was a stuffed little green lantern. That wasn't a pop. If you're talking about the on the right corner, then that is a piece of fan art that was done for me by Javier Lugo, a known comic book artist. I commissioned him to make me a Kyle Rayner, basically make me Kyle Rayner in pop form. Um, I thought it'd be a very, very cool idea. Yep. This is a Green Lantern shirt, if you didn't notice. This is from the Big Bang Theory. Uh, very, very cool shirt. Um, definitely thanks for coming in, STS, as always. Let me make sure about, let me refresh the chat. We were just talking about this guy here. STS, our little uh, Captain uh, Commander Cody. Hey, King. The guy who doesn't uh, have issues with the head. <laughs> no issues at all. But we're talking about uh, toy collecting regrets. So basically that jet that I'm talking about, the, the uh, Turbo Hawk, that uh, I definitely want to get my hands on one of them. Do you guys have from, I want to say, age 8 to age 12... Do you have any collecting regrets that you had during that age? 
Let me know in chat. Do you have anything that you regret between ages 8 and ages 12? I want to get my hands on one of those jets. I've seen it on eBay. The biggest problem was the cockpits were all broken. The stickers were all wrecked. I want to get one that's solid. Yeah. I want to get one that's very, very solid. Uh, I want to get one that the stickers are nice and clean. I want to get one that the cockpit is solid and is not broken. I'm not really too concerned about the actual uh, figure that you put inside the cockpit. Um, I'm more concerned about the jet being intact, the cockpit being one solid piece, and the stickers being solid. Let's see here. Yeah, he did. As far as... Uh, that would be my, sort of my middle childhood. Another one I would have to say is unfortunately the loss of my G.I. Joe collection. Um, during that age, that 8 to 12 year age group, that bracket there, I had a lot of G.I. Joe stuff. I collected a ton of it. I had at least 40 to 50 figures easily. I had the base, I had the Fang, I had the Ram, I had the Vamp, Mark One and Mark Two. I had the uh, the whale, both the mom, um, the mauler and the mobat. I think it was called. I had that one. Um, I had several different iterations of Snake Eyes. I had tons of characters, both good guys and bad guys. I had the Rattler, the Sky Striker, the X thirty. Um, there was a smaller little jet that had a set of engines that could go up and down. I had skids. I had a cockpit. It had guns in the front and two missiles on the side. I don't remember the name of that one. I have a, I have a remake, a, a variant of it in my, uh, in my storage. I can't remember what it was called. But I had that guy as well. I had the Trouble Bubble. Um, I never had the Cobra. I never had the, uh, the Terror Dome. Never had that one. I had the Twins. I had several different figures. But I, I think what happened when I was getting older, I think I got out of toy collecting. And I think I might have thrown out a lot of my G.I. Joe stuff. I think. I can't remember. But I think I did. Let's see here. Who's my favorite? What's my favorite pop? Um, I mentioned it before in many videos, friends, for fun. Um, the four pops that got me into collecting Funko were the Big Bang Theory pops. Uh, those are my probably my favorite pops because they're the ones that got me into Funko. I still have them. Unfortunately, they are ones that I no longer have the box. Um, for whatever I won't say for whatever reason, but I, when I was first getting into Funko, I didn't really care about the boxes. I just cared about the vinyl figure. I only cared about this. I didn't care about the packaging. Uh, to me, that was a bit of a mistake now. I know that the packaging is much as a part as the Funko item as the full presentation. Some people like out-of-box collectors. Some people are in-box collectors. I'm both. I like to display some of my pops out, some of my pops in. Yep, I have that one as well. Uh, that's the uh, Lethal Protector Venom. I actually have that guy as well. Um, I showcased it at the beginning of the video. Some people might not have seen it. I did get the Young Bucks 2-pack. Brand new from Hot Topics. Uh, Pixel Batman. I don't have Pixel Batman. Didn't want, I didn't get him. Uh, I, know, I know of him. I think they have a detective version of him as well, I believe. But the... Uh, a lot of the G.I. Joe stuff I had in my youth, unfortunately, either went missing or I threw it away just because I was getting older. I kicked myself in the butt now for doing that just because there was a big part of collecting I had that I got from my family that I should have retained for my collection. But unfortunately, either I outgrew it or I lost it. One of, one of the two. Either I outgrew it or lost it, and that's what happened to my G.I. Joe collection. Transformers, same type of idea. I only had like four or five guys because Transformers were much more expensive than G.I. Joe. Back then, G.I. Joe's were like four or five dollars. Transformers were like ten, you know, nine to ten dollars. It was double the price of a G.I. Joe. And when you're a younger kid, I can play with two figures or I can play with one guy. So you wanted to have more things to play with. So I gravitated more to G.I. Joe than I did for Transformers. A friend of mine liked Transformers, and I'd go and play with his Transformers. You get caught up in here in the chat. I actually got the Hulkbuster myself. Uh, do you guys have anything in your 
eight to 12 year old range. So I had the Turbo Hawk that I'm gonna eventually get my hands on again. I'm gonna do a review. When I get that damn thing, I'm gonna do a review on it just because I remember that item so well. I remember that toy a lot. I think Rainbow, he might be here. There's seven people in chat right now, so I'm not entirely sure, Jackie. We have a decent amount of people in chat right now. We're talking right now about toy collecting regrets. Helmet Man? Never heard of Helmet Man. I've heard of He Man, but not Helmet Man. The, uh, also, uh, STS, since you didn't see it, uh, me and my girl are going to be putting this guy together. We got him at five, five and below. A 1,000 piece pop collage puzzle. We're going to do this together and over the next few weeks. We're going to frame it and put it in my studio. Got it. Got this guy for about five bucks for this guy. Sealed, all intact, 1,000 piece puzzle for five dollars. Has And it's all DC, which I'm very, very happy about. And of course we got Lantern over here and over here. And here's what it looks like on the back, if you wanted to see. It's a really large puzzle. It is uh, 19 by 26. So it's, I mean, you're looking at about this by about that. I mean, it's going to be a big puzzle. Uh, that's the STS. That is the Jurassic Park red card exclusive target pop. Let's see, Rainbow Optimus, Transformers, My Little Pony, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, DC Superheroes, Monster High Power Rangers, or My Blood. Um, Power Rangers, definitely dig. Definitely dig me some Power Rangers. The, uh, what's the biggest thing with Power Rangers right now? I know that uh, Bandai lost the license to, I believe it was Hasbro, I believe now. And I did my, uh, oh, if you have Rainbow, if you didn't watch the video yet, I did a full review of the SH Figure Arts White Ranger figure. I don't know if you watched that one or not. Uh, where's my phone? Um, I can show you a thumbnail real quick of it. Did a full review of this guy. And it is, don't buy this figure. And there's a reason why. Definitely watch that video if you have not yet watched it. But I'm off, I'm, off, uh, I'm off track. So, as I was saying, the um, G.I. Joe stuff, Transformer stuff, I'm going to get my hands on that on the, uh, I keep saying Turbo Hawk. Yeah, Turbo Hawk, that's the right name, Turbo Hawk. Yeah, it, it, friends, for fun, the, the chat isn't so bad. Like I said, a lot of people don't chat a whole lot. Uh, some people will pipe in. Um, a few people, the chat does not go, you're not going to see it just, you know, scale just keep cycling through you can read the chat um some people will talk some people don't talk and that's fine people are a little shy and i have no issue with that if they want to just listen to what i want to say they can they can digest it they can speak up if they want to as well I, there's no pressure in my chat i don't force people to chat here if they want to chat they can no problem rainbow if you didn't want to that's fine you don't have to <coughs> you have to see every video and that's that's perfectly fine, as long as you as long as you got the the email alert. That's all I care about, because sometimes I've had subscribers tell me they weren't getting alerts, and I've seen it happen even to me, because I have my my YouTube channel and I have my channel that I watch my other stuff on that has nothing to do with my YouTube channel, and I'm subscribed my YouTube channel to my normal channel. My normal channel subscribes to my YouTube ch channel rather, and. Sometimes I don't get alerts from it, and that's how I can tell when I push a video live, I can see where the alerts are and see if I'm getting them. And I've seen issues where they were delayed or not even coming to me. So I have seen it happen before. Uh, the Demogorgon, are, are you talking the big Demogorgon or are you talking the small Demogorgon in Funko? The big one looks okay. The uh, the small one is all right too. Uh, I think they should have done nothing shorter than a six inch one. To be quite honest, they should have made normal scale. The the big one I like. I like I like the big one. Let me kill this real quick here. I had a silly thing sitting sitting there. So those are my sort of middle aged 
I guess not middle age. Those would be my childhood and my younger years. So lost a GI Joe, lost the Transformers, lost that that uh, Turbo Hawk, which I'm going to reclaim eventually. Now let's talk about adult adulthood. Let's talk about stuff. If you're an older collector, if you're out of your teenage years, let's talk stuff that you had toy collecting regret from. <coughs> For me. It happened about two, close to two years ago, right before I started the channel. I was at a Walmart, and the new Battlefront game came out for Star Wars. And there was a red and white uh, shock trooper that came out. I saw the actual figure. I saw it. It was the only one they had at the Walmart. I pulled it off the peg. I was literally walking around the store with the red and white shock trooper in my hand. Literally in my hand. I eventually was walking around. I had the money. It wasn't like, oh crap, I can't afford it right now. I had the money. I was walking around the store and I put it down. I put the figure down and to this day, to this day, I kick myself in the ass for doing that. It's a figure that looked very, very cool. It looks like a normal stormtrooper just with a red deco, like partially down the figure. It comes with a long rifle, and I think the blaster rifle that most uh, stormtroopers have. Um, it has special packaging on it. It's a Walmart exclusive. It doesn't have Walmart's uh, branding on it, but you can tell. I don't know, friends, forefront. I don't know why I put it down. I your your question is the question I ask myself all the time. Why did I do that? If I look up the price of that figure now, it goes for about fifty bucks. Uh, it's still affordable. I can still buy one if I want one. But I had the damn thing in my hand and I was walking around the store with it. I put it down. I don't know why. Uh, it, the funny thing is I've been actually collecting a lot of the named 6-inch uh, black, black Series figures. I have Commander Cody, Commander Gree, uh, uh, Commander Rex. Uh, I'm going to get my hands on Commander Wolf. I have not yet gotten him. I have not yet found him at GameStop. But that one would have worked really, really well because it's a different sort of stormtrooper. I want to get all the named troopers in the six-inch scale. That's what I want to do. I have a goal <coughs> mainly because I'm going to eventually put together a diorama. I'm going to get a fish tank. I'm going to make a scene that I'm going to build. I'm going to document each piece along the way as I construct this item. I'm going to shoot video for each piece that I'm going to put together. Hey, Jeremy Brown, how's it going? And I'm going to construct each piece as I, as I go along through this process to build this diorama with these named, storm, with these named uh, clone troopers or storm troopers. Sub to me? Or sub to somebody else? The problem trying to do a simulcast is unless you have multiple cameras you can't do it properly i tried doing it with cletus selden and him and i had a lot of issues um where we would i had to video capture him showing me and i had to screen cap that because i only have one camera so i can only shoot myself um the only way to really do that is with a second camera and you do that through let's say a uh, a skype session that'd be the only way to really do it yeah, I mean, the, that is probably the only way that I know how to do it. Um, very, very difficult to do unless you have special either software that's designed for or a multi-camera setup. I only use one camera. So having a guest come on like that is extremely difficult. Uh, Rainbow Optimus, he's my favorite guy. Um, I absolutely love the Green Ranger and White Ranger. I have a small collection of Green Ranger, White Ranger stuff. Uh, that's the only thing I collect. For I, it's just Mighty Morphin stuff. It's just Green Ranger, just White Ranger. I, I try to get different pieces. I've got SH Figure Art stuff. I've gotten the um, the Legacy Collection stuff. That's stuff that I usually do. The uh, the SH Figure Art stuff is extremely expensive. If you're looking to get into that line, you'll be spending a lot of money. 
Um, if you're lucky, the San Diego Comic Con's re-releasing the SH Figure Arts version with a interchangeable head for the Green Ranger. And in November, they're re-releasing the White Ranger SH Figure Art as well. Uh, price point for the White Ranger in November is going to be about $65. You can pre-order it on Amazon right now. They are selling it right now. I saw an image of one. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not sold on the 10-inch Dobby. I would like to get the 10-inch T-Rex, to be quite honest. That would be the only one I really want to get my hands on in the 10-inch scale. Uh, that's out now. I have my Hulk. That's the only one I really want now is a 10-inch T-Rex because I need to find blue. Uh, I want to get the blue Raptor because I think that would be very, very cool to have the 10-inch uh, T-Rex out of packaging next to the little blue Raptor. They are Rainbow Optimus. You are completely correct. They're extremely pricey extremely pricey uh very very good figures they are i mentioned it in the white ranger video they are a elite level figure it's an elite level class action figure mind you that figure came out in 2013 so you're looking at a five-year difference in the articulation but even a five-year difference it's still an elite level figure the legacy collection cannot hold a candle to the actual SH figure arts. Just the amount of presentation, paint, and articulation is so good compared to any other figure on the market. It, it's that good. It's such a good figure. So as far as adult collecting, as far as adult collecting goes, guys, do you have any toy collecting regrets? Something that you either lost as an adult, you kind of kick yourself for not buying it, something that you wish you would have, you couldn't get your hands on, what are your toy collecting regrets as an adult now? Mine, of course, is that uh, Black Series figure for the Shock Trooper. Uh, it was funny because I was out with my mom at the time. We were doing some shopping together, and I saw it at Walmart. And I was walking around, and she saw me holding the figure, and she was actually screaming at me for me to buy it. And I put the figure down. I, I, again, I don't know why. I have not seen the flocked one. The other figure I'm looking for, for Deadpool, it's a uh, Marvel Legends it's the gray Deadpool in the Deadpool wave. I've not yet seen him. I know that people have reviewed him. I know that Collecting and Hobby, who I do a podcast with for wrestling, uh, he actually has, he got it pretty much first to market. He got his hands on it much earlier. And he actually did a full review of, of those figures. And it's something I've not yet gotten my hands on. And I think it'd be kind of cool to have because he comes with like his gear is all blue, which is kind of weird. Um, I'm not up to full, yeah, the, the X-Force Deadpool. I, I think that's what his name is. Um, I'm not up to, as far as, I don't read Marvel books. The only Marvel books I read were uh, Darkhawk and nothing recently except for the, the um, Definity Watch, which I have up to issue three, but I haven't started reading it yet. You regret getting all of the Peanuts. One of them wasn't even painted. Peanuts, uh, what, Funko? Are you talking action figure? Or are you, what are you talking about, Jeremy? Were these action, were these collectibles of some sort? Why do you regret getting them? Were, were you getting them? Were you, did you buy them because, was it a gift? Was it because you like the Peanuts and don't like them any longer? Why, 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 why? Oh, the Funko ones. Um, were they the, the Target exclusive ones or just individual ones? And I can understand because... Ooh, King Snake. Ooh. I know the feeling. I know the feeling when you see something that you should have pulled the trigger on, you see it on the shelf, you probably had the money to buy it, but you didn't pull the trigger. For whatever reason, maybe you thought maybe I can get a better deal down the line. Maybe you could buy it later. It happened to me with the, I guess you'd say it's a regret. Uh, when I got the Funko, it was when I got the, it, it's the partially transported Sheldon. Uh, it was a Funko release. I think it was exclusive. Two, uh, it was a thousand eight pieces released in 2013. I believe it was. I saw it at Tate's Comics and it was for $40 and I held off on it. The next week it sold. And I went out and I said, you know what? I want to get these Big Bang Pops, the half-transported versions. I got Sheld I got uh, Howard, Leonard, and Raj. I didn't get Sheldon. I waited online, got them for about 60 bucks on Amazon. And when I got them in, house, in hand, the packaging was wrecked on one side. 
the paint, the literally the vinyl was smudged across the back of his head. I didn't realize that until I was doing a review for them uh, many, many months ago. And I was super upset about it. And I mentioned it in the video. If you track that video down, you'll see what I'm talking about, where I talk about the packages being beat up, the head being scuffed. I guess you call that a toy, a toy collecting regret in my adulthood. Because this was just about a year, about a year ago when I got these guys. And I was very upset about it because I went on Amazon and spent even more money to get a figure that wasn't in nowhere near the same condition as the one I saw at Tate's. And that's what angered me the most, where I got a figure that was really, really beat up. King Snake, did you actually eventually get the Punisher figure? Drink number two with only 12 minutes left. I'm surprised the stream has lasted this long with no issues. I'm very happy. No drop frames. The Megazord. Uh, that one, I think that was like a, was it like a Toy Tokyo one? Was that like a Toy Tokyo? One One thing I'm mad about is that the, if you guys weren't aware, what I'm going to be doing, not this stream coming up, not next week. Next week's stream, oh, too pricey, ooh. Next week's stream is going to be kind of cool. It's going to be a comic convention survival guide. I'm going to give you my tips, my tricks that I use going to comic conventions. Only, ooh, King Snake, I'm sorry. 200 bucks. I'll give you the tips and tricks that I actually use going to a comic convention because the following week I'm going to be shooting a video at Supercon. Supercon is the week of July 14th. So that's the prior to the next Monday stream is going to be a comic convention survival guide. The week after that, which will be the week of the 16th stream, that's going to be me going over all the Funko and action figure San Diego Comic Con stuff I can find my hands on. So I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have picture in picture like I did uh, a week ago. <laughs> yep, drink number two. I usually get two drinks with me. I take on a, a stream usually. I usually like I I don't drink a whole lot of soda, just a little bit. Oh, you did? Cool, Jeremy. Sweet. I'm gonna be at Comic Con. I uh, see me at SuperCon again. I'm going to be um, shooting video. If you can see me around, I'll be walking around. Definitely say hi to me. Um, eventually, I don't know when, I don't know how, but eventually I'm probably going to get a table in Artist Alley sometime. And I will be, I'm going to have a big screen TV there. I'm going to have videos on a loop. I'll be doing giveaways. Not at this Supercon, but eventually down the road, once I get into a better job and things like that, um, definitely want to do something along those lines where, where that will eventually happen. Um, I know that for a fact. Absolutely. Absolutely. But it's very, very cool, Jeremy. Definitely come up to say hi to me. Oh, are you Jeremy who I think you are, Jeremy? I think I know who Jeremy is. I think I, think I know who it is. If, if it's who I think it is. I... I think I, I think I know your mom. <laughs> I think I know your mom. Tell your mom I said hi. Definitely. Uh, are you going to be guys going to Supercon again this year? Because I know I'm going to be there. Um, I'm definitely going to be there the entire day. Yep. I figured as much. <laughs> I figured as much. I'm going to be doing video the entire day. Um as much as I can. I'll be doing cosplayers again. I'll be doing very similar to how I did Supercon last year. I'll be doing video, uh, music throughout the entire video, taking video of different booths, cosplayers, things like that. Definitely going to be doing it. I have a lot, have a lot of fun doing Supercon. But that's going to be, uh, next Monday's stream is going to be a comic convention survival guide. Then we're going to be doing the money after that. We're going to be doing a... Uh, Review of all the San Diego Comic Con Funko releases that have been spoiled, and I'm going to be doing the, as far as I know, as much action figure stuff as I can find. Um, I have to get it all prepped ahead of time for different web pages. I'll be jumping back and forth between them to showcase what's available. Cool, awesome, Jeremy. But definitely, um, I'm going to be doing SuperCon stuff. I'll be doing uh, the Funko release stuff. I try to do that every single year for well, Casino Comic Con release stuff. It's, this this year's stuff is okay. It's okay. Uh, last year's Casino Comic Con wasn't as good. The New York Comic Con was better, at least last year to me. Um, the big item, of course, that I'm upset about 
is the Kyle Rayner already sold out at, um, what website was it? I'm drawing a blank on it now. It was only exclusively only online. Fugitive Toys. Uh, Fugitive Toys had the Kyle Rayner White Lantern available, and it's already sold out. It, I didn't I didn't get a notice. I didn't see the Funko Pop Hunters spit anything out about it. I didn't know when it went on sale, so I missed the sale. Unfortunately, I got to try to get it on the secondary market. Uh, of course, Sando Comic uh, Sando Comic Con comes out after. Supercon does. So I have to find it probably either through Amazon, through eBay, something along those lines to get my hands on one. I want to get both of them. I want to get the normal version of Glow in the Dark. I'll talk about it on uh, next, uh, the two week stream on the 16th is when I'm going to be doing that one. Yeah, he looks very, very good. I got to get my hands on that one just because I'm a massive Kyle Rayner fan. I got to get my hands on the White Lantern Kyle Rayner. I would have to get the normal version. I have to get the Glow in the Dark. If I can only get one, I'd probably get the normal version. When I got last year's, I think it was for New York Comic Con, I got the Yellow Lantern Batman normal version and Glow in the Dark. I just want to repeat that and get them both. That's what I want to get my hands on. So we're at seven minutes left until the hour. I'm surprised the stream has lasted a full hour. No problem, Jeremy. Don't worry. No, no worries about that. Uh, any other toy collecting regrets you guys have that you want to pipe in about? Uh, the only the Toy Tokyo one. There was a they're releasing uh, Toy Tokyo. There's an exclusive, I believe, that's coming in Toy Tokyo in the in the Funko release. I have to look at the list. Uh, I know that to I know Toy Tokyo has an item that I think I want, um, but I have to look at the list. I know, I know they got it specifically. Um, I think it might have been the Chrome. I think it might have been the Chrome Super Saiyan Vegeta, the Gold Chrome. I could be wrong. I, I might be wrong on that one. But I think Toy Tokyo has that one. But again, I could be wrong. Um, but the 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 Kyle Rayner definitely want to get my hands on. That's one of the ones I have to find on on the aftermarket. I know it's going to cost a pretty penny. Uh, the further I wait, though, the more the price will decrease. I've seen it happen with the Yellow Lantern Batman's. Those were going for about sixty to seventy bucks as far as New York Comic Con. Now you can buy them for about twenty twenty five dollars. So if you give it a few months, the price will dip. Um, I used to watch Dragon Ball all the time. Um. I used to watch it all the time. I don't know anything about the new stuff, about the blue-haired Goku or the blue-haired Vegeta. I, I think that's the Super Series, I believe it's called. I don't know anything about the new stuff. I watched the old Dragon Ball stuff um, when he went up to level... Before he became part monkey. Part monkey Goku. I think it was level 4, might have been. That's where I stopped watching it. Yeah, don't worry about it, STS. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, the, the, the blue version, Jeremy. But I haven't watched any of the new stuff yet. Um, I've steered clear from that stuff. I've not seen any of the newer stuff. Uh, I, I know about it. I don't watch it, though, but I know about it. So any other toy collecting regrets you guys have? Uh, you could probably find, Jeremy, you could probably... I would wait to get it in either FYE for the Demogorgon... Or at Supercon, was where I would wait for it. Super Saiyan Blue, yep. It's a, I, I've seen images of it. I know on the video game, you can go blue. Um, but that's not all I know about. I know there's Goku Black, where he has pink hair. So I think that's a clone, but I could be wrong. Again, I don't follow any of the new, uh, any of the new Dragon Ball stuff. Anything after came, like, I think I stopped right before GT. Anything newer than that, I have no clue. Um, the biggest problem I had, of course, with Dragon Ball stuff was the American version of it, where I think what they normally would do is they would take one episode, and like one episode of Japanese Dragon Ball was like two to three episodes of American. It would just be cut so badly, it really wouldn't make sense. And the, the episodes were just so dragging on. Yeah, I can understand, Jeremy. Uh, absolutely. Ooh, Total Heroes were, it was a line of action figures. I think they were kind of blocky action figures. If I, if I remember correctly, I, I could I could be wrong on that one. I think they were sort of blocky figures. They weren't like 
as articulated as the figures we see now. If, if, if it's the same figures, I think they are Rainbow Optimus. I, I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that one. But um, I, I, one of the things I regretted, it wasn't a toy, but it was a comic. I actually sold out until I repurchased. Uh, it was Uncanny X-Men 266, which was the first appearance of Gambit. I actually sold that comic when I was desperately needed money many, 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 many years ago. And I repurchased it a few years back, and I have it now in my collection again. Which one is better, Deathstroke or Deadpool? Um, one is DC, one is Marvel. Deadpool is a ripoff of Deathstroke. It's been admitted. Liefeld has admitted it already. Deathstroke does look very, very cool. He absolutely does. So we have a couple minutes left, guys. We're coming up to the hour. I want to thank everyone who was in the stream for this long. Uh, next week is going to be Comic Convention Survival Guide. I'm going to give you my tips, my tricks. I want to hear from the audience what you guys do to either prepare or what you do at Comic Convention. What tricks or tips can you give the audience? I'll give you my idea of what I do, how I prep for a Comic Convention, what type of gear I use, and my idea and mentality that I do going into a Comic Con. Yep, he is called uh, Slade Wilson is his real name, if you wanted to know STS. His real name is Slade Wilson. That's a big, a big poke of fun because he's called Wade Wilson over at um, Marvel, which is, of course, Deadpool. Awesome, Jeremy. Glad you came into the chat. Uh, we're going to be doing another one next week, like I said. We're going to be doing it for Comic Convention Survival Guides. Then we're going to be talking, the week after that, we're going to talk Senior Comic Con 2018. We're talking Funko and action figures. And we'll see what goes from there. Uh, definitely, I want to thank everyone who stayed for the chat. Definitely keep an eye out for this coming Wednesday, July 4th, which will be my second year anniversary of YouTube. Thanks, to, Thank you for coming in, uh, Rainbow Out the Bottomist, and all my people who are in the chat. Thank you guys for coming in. Awesome, Jeremy. Glad you still say subscribe to me. <laughs> take care, guys. Thank you very much, King Snake. I want to thank everybody who came into my chat. Definitely take a look at the video coming up this Wednesday. Take care, guys. I'm going to be ending the stream in 3, 2, 1. Take care, guys. See you later. And bye-bye.